the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical journey of Italy, today featuring the Fratelli Rufati Organ Factory and the Rufati organs and magnificent churches of Northern Italy. Thank you for joining us. It is a very great joy and privilege for me to be here this morning in Padua, Italy at the Fratelli Rufati Organ Company. Now Fratelli means Brothers Rufati and I would like to introduce you to Francesco Rufati and Piero Rufati who are brothers and they direct the operations of the Rufati Organ Company. You have built some wonderful organs in the United States, including San Francisco Symphony Hall, St. Mary's Cathedral in San Francisco, the Cristo Cathedral in Garden Grove, California, and of course the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So congratulations, Francesco and Piero, on building some of the most beautiful organs in the world. We thank you for your gifts and your talents in this area. Francesco, maybe you would like to tell us a little bit about the history of the uh, Rufati Organ Company. Yes, the factory started uh, under the present name in 1940 when my father and his two brothers took over a previous factory which had been in existence for over a century in this area. Um, this area is famous for organ builders and um, a continuous activity of organ building has gone on for several centuries, since the Middle Ages. So it's a very, very long tradition that we are continuing, continuing nowadays. Well, you should be very proud of the fact that you have built so many beautiful organs mm. around the world. Thank you. Now, Francesco, what exactly is your job here as one of the partners in the firm? I take care of the tonal end of the firm. Mm -hmm. in the sense Which is, uh, means voicing the voicing, organ. Voicing the organ, mm -hmm. yes. Su supervising the manufacturing of the pipes, voicing the organ, giving the organ its voice, yes. basically. and that is very important. And then, of course, another very important part of organ design is to do is to design the organ on paper and that's what you do isn't it Piero? Well not on paper anymore uh, we uh, are now designing the organs uh, on a computer screen. Oh you do? Uh, yes this makes uh, things much easier and it gives more freedom to the designer. It is very important to have a feel of the building in order to design an instrument which is in touch with the with the architecture of the building.
great Rufati organs in Italy is found here at the shrine of St. Teresa of the Baby Jesus in Verona, Italy. It features 4,700 pipes, 73 stops, and three manuals. The casework surrounding the pipes is intricately carved in marble, a notable feature in the decoration of this magnificent church. It's not very often that one gets to stand in front of the trumpet pipes of the organ. Usually they're up at a very high level and uh, you only get to look at them. But the Rafati Organ Company builds the most beautiful trumpets that I have ever seen. These are made of brass like, any, um, like the real trumpets. So for each note there's a different instrument that you see here. Unlike the uh, orchestral trumpet, that's only one instrument that plays different notes. Of course, in a pipe organ, you have to build each uh, one trumpet for each of the notes. So you have a long series of trumpets. There will be 61 of them, all different in length, and all made by hand. Mm -hmm. And why are these pipes horizontal when the others are vertical? They provide a special um, tonal effect. 
not only visual but also tonal. They will be very powerful. They will, they will be very alive, a very mm -hmm. fiery sound. Well, it's a very great joy for us to be here in the factory, and we're going to take a tour now with the Joy Music Tour Group, which is accompanying us in our visit to the Fratelli Rufati Organ Company here in Padua, Italy. So it's nice to welcome you here, and uh, I'll be very happy to show you how, how the organs are made. Shall we begin? Yes. Please. This is where we start from, the planning. See, every little detail of a pipe organ is on paper. It's designed, it's now designed with a computer. And this is how that organ will look like. You see, hop high in the air with a console down below. I would like to take you to a small place, but a very important place, where we make the metal sheets uh, for the pipes. Actually, I would say this method is a very old method. It has been used at least since the uh, 1600s. Everything is done by hand in this department. The cutting of the sheets, the rolling of the pieces around molds, you see some of the molds there. And then the soldering of the different parts. Every pipe will then be hand polished at the very end. This is a fully equipped metal shop. Any little mechanical part is done here. Now we move on to the assembly department. The keyboards are covered with boxwood and ebony. 
and even our nameplate is uh, inlaid ebony and boxwood. This will be on a platform about 10 feet high and on the center portion there will be trackers coming down to the console which is this one. So this is the drawing of the organ that you have seen installed in the factory. Suppose I want to take this detail and duplicate it. I can duplicate it and move it here and here I have it. So I now I can enlarge it and work on it. Or I can change my mind and go back to the way it was. <laughs> I'll give you a very small example of how a pipe is voiced. Very unpleasant. You can make it sound, give it a nice sound. Now it's a little bit more gentle. They need to all be educated one by one. <laughs> So this is basically voicing, very basically voicing, what voicing is. Well, I wish to thank you all for coming here. It's been my pleasure to show you all of these things.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a musical journey of Northern Italy featuring the Rafati Organ Factory of Padua, Italy and the magnificent Houses of Worship of Northern Italy. Thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. and the joy of music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.